Let's do a drive around Peninsula Malaysia. Where, where, where? In uh, like Penang, Johor, Kuantan. Oh. Serious, ah? Okay, oh. and Which in, we get? In 24 hours. What? 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. oh. We need a fast car. How fast? This is the McLaren Artura, the latest hybrid supercar from Woking. And Bobby, Tana, myself are going to drive this car 2,000 km around Malaysia. Bobby will drive the first leg from KL to Penang, Tana will drive from Penang to JB, and myself from JB to Kuantan and back to McLaren Kuala Lumpur. But here's the challenge. We have to complete the whole trip within 24 hours, making it an endurance journey. Now because Bobby flagged off at 2pm, I have to return by 2pm as well on the following day, or the whole trip will be considered a failure. 136. Driving the last part of the journey, a lot of expectations rest on me and my co pilot. Did we make it back on time? Stay tuned to find out more in this crazy 24 hours challenge. Oh man, what's the car here? 203 on my on my on the waist. Bro! Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's the go home, go home. Oh shit, this. <laughs> hey, look, what are you doing? 159, 159. Come on, Honda City. Hey guys, before the video starts, I want to give a big shout out to my sponsors, Expel Malaysia, and I have some good news for all of you over here who are watching this video. Expel Malaysia is going to give us 25% off their new window tints called the Prime XP window tints. This is only valid from the 1st of November 2022 to the 31st of December 2022. I've been using this in my BMW M2 competition and I absolutely love it. It keeps my car really cool because they use a multi-layered smart technology which utilizes metal flakes to reflect heat, reflect UV rays and keeping me nice and cool and safe in my car over here. Now the best part is this. I've used many international brands of window tints. This one over here has absolute clarity. It's virtually undetectable when you're driving your car. That's why I absolutely love it. I use them for all my cars. By the way, for all you viewers watching my channel, you're going to get an extra special deal as well. If you come to Expo Malaysia or any of their official branch, you can show them that you subscribe to my channel and like my video. And with that, you get an entitlement to the free KLM PPF as well. So with that, please enjoy the video. Alright guys, so we wasted half an hour driving around Iskandar trying to find something to fix the windscreen protector. Anyways, this is Roland. And this is Tana, and they both just arrived. Tana, how are you feeling, bro? I feel so. Uh, actually, not tired. Uh. Not tired? Uh? I feel very refreshed. How fast are you going on highway? Uh? I drove 80, bro. 80, yeah? Uh? 80, bro. 80 km. It's yeah. raining, cats and dogs. Yeah. Uh, heavy rain. Uh, it wasn't the easiest drive. Yeah, but look okay. at that. Uh. It's really bad. No, it's just the wiper material. Uh. Happens to my car as well when it comes in. You know, dry on one hand, and when you're going fast, uh -huh. the extra friction uh -huh. leaves the rubber there. Yeah. So it gets worse and worse. But if mm. you can clean this off, you should be fine. Uh. You should be fine. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to jump in the car okay. and pass this to Tana so Tana can rest. And uh, let's continue on the journey. Hey guys, good morning. This is Ravin. Hi, morning. Ravin is the COO of McLaren Kuala Lumpur and uh, He's going to supervise me to make sure I don't do nonsense in this car. <laughs> and Bobby and Marcus went all the way to, uh, from KL to Genting, Genting to Camerons, Camerons to Penang, right? And then uh, Tana took over the night shift with Roland and they went on the highway all the way from KL to JB. So they were a bit late, held back by the weather. It was just raining cats and dogs. It was just horrible. So they arrive at uh, 5 30 ish, hoping for good weather. And uh, we're going to Mersing, Mersing to Kuantan, and Kuantan back to Kuala Lumpur. So I have good luck with me today because uh, Ravinder is from Kuantan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we can't go really fast today. It's really wet. We're scared of potholes, uh, big wildlife. patches of water. Yeah, wildlife. Yeah, wildlife is going to be dangerous. And ours is the toughest lake of all. Yeah, yep. Okay, they put the best drivers on the top of the <laughs> So Robin, you probably spent some time with this car in uh, in uh, McLaren Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. What do you think about the Artura? You know, it's a departure from the, you know, usually it's the V8. Surprisingly, it drives very well. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, like what they say, this car is like a junior B1, baby B1. Uh, even the acceleration of the car is phenomenal. <laughs> so now we left a bit later because we were supposed to get back to KL by 2 o'clock. Yeah. So but I think we are, we are on track. We're on track, huh? Yeah. But the weather was not kind to us again. And because of the rain and no visibility in the morning, we had to drive really slow to dodge potholes opened up by the rain. Now this is crucial because if we damage the wheels, it is the end of this journey and challenge. Slowly but surely, we arrive at Mersing. But just like the weather, we were feeling kind of gloomy. Hey guys, so we are now at Mersing. We did uh, roughly around 150 kilometers from uh, JB to here. But now the time is 8.50 and according to Google Maps we're gonna take approximately six hours to get to KL which means we might be late so we gotta keep pushing on right now to Kwantan it's not raining cats and dogs but it's just wet so it's just not good news check this out we're a little pit stop over here at the sandy beach where the river meets the sea right so we are somewhere between the fringe of Pekan but no time to wait because you can't enjoy it because now it's already 10 19. You gotta be in Kwantan by 11 20. Take a picture and then uh, go back to KL. So we are really rushing, pushing time right now. So we gotta go. Whew, not tired. Tired, you tend to rest. Uh, 10 o'clock already. Alright. Yeah, you did a lot of driving just now. We are on the way now to Kwantan. I thought this would be a good time to talk a bit about the Atura because it was super dark in the morning. It's impossible to look at our So this is a complete new engine. Yeah. 2 liter V6 twin turbo. From the engine itself it's about 590 horsepower. Mm -hmm. And then you got 90 more from the uh, hybrid, so it makes up to 680. So McLaren has the Sport Series, Super Series, the GT Series. Yes. So it may we may have the impression that it's a sport series, but actually it's not, right? It's the it's a super series. Yeah, a super series. Alright. For those of you who missed the chance of uh, owning a B1, this is something you can consider. Mm. It drives really well, it handles well, and I think you also experienced when I was driving earlier. Roads were bumpy and crashy. Yeah. But the suspension feels very uh, compliant and uh, nice ride. It was a nice ride. Yeah, there's no crash. Just there, there you go, just like that. Yeah. And what I like about this car again is. You can actually have a conversation. Yeah. The engine is not loud to the point where you're like, oh, you know, it's like, can't talk, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> Kampong road driving. Yeah. So the suspension is, uh, unlike the 720, 720 has no anti roll bars, right? Yeah, 720 has uh, runs on the kinetic tempers. Yeah. Uh, this is a conventional suspension. Yeah. Uh, Strap with uh, coil springs, but it has adaptive tempers. Uh, so uh, you got comfort mode, you got uh, sports mode, and you got track mode. And as uh, seven twenty S have that uh, VDC vehicle VDC, drift yeah. control. VDC this control. car has it as well. Ah, nice. So that one, the six fifty, the five seventy doesn't have, have, yeah. have that. Yeah. So with that VDC, basically, like say you are on a track and you want to do uh, some drift, you can preset your angle, uh -huh. uh, and then the car will just allow you to to uh, rotate the car or slide the car at that angle, mm. so to prevent you from overcooking it and uh, getting into a spin. So the dual clutch gearbox is uh, new too, right? Yeah, it's an 8-speed gearbox. Yeah. Uh, previously, all our cars were 7-speed. Okay. So it's 8-speed yeah. with the electronic reverse gear? Yes, correct. Okay. What I like about these cars, uh, McLaren, is that uh, hydraulic steering, hydraulic power steering. Oh, you can feel everything on the road. Everything so high-tech, then the steering go back to old school. Mm. Where it matters. So our brakes are standard or ceramic? Or Carbon ceramics. All standard? Yeah, standard. This is all McLaren. Uh, they, they really have this DNA. They really stick to it. Uh. Carbon tub, rear wheel drive, hydraulic power steering. Feel is a, it's a super car that not only has, I mean the look for me, I like the look. It feels very daily you know? Yeah. Not, and if you don't put your foot down, it's actually not intimidating. Like once you get in and drive a little bit, uh, the visibility is great. That is part of the McLaren DNA. Yeah. All our cars, basically, you get into the car, and your visibility is almost Round. Yeah. There's no, not much blind spots. Mm. And after some B roads, we managed to arrive at Kwantan safely. But our relaxed manner was not appreciated by our team members. So, what's Kwantan known for? Seafood, saltfish, ikan bilis. Mm. 
Just now when we, we passed Tanjung Lumpur, that place is famous for, well known for ikan bakar. Colonial looking yeah. building. Three wall buildings on your right hand side. Nice. Hello, Marcus. Yeah, we're looking for a nice spot to take the uh, picture. Thank you. According to ways, it says 2.15 now. Now, meaning you have to leave now in order to go back. Alright. Alright right. right, guys, so as you heard earlier, Marcus wants us to really push because, you know, 1.36 and then we're going to get to Glen Mary by 2 o'clock. That's 2 and a half hours or less than 2 and a half hours. So we're here pumping patrol at our Shell. The McLaren support team is just making sure everything is okay. I'm going to need a coffee for this one over here. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. And go, 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 we did. On the highway, I was able to finally experience Artura's high-speed stability and chassis. And it is unbelievable how McLaren managed to create such a dynamic chassis but with such great comfort. The Artura is built on McLaren's latest carbon monocoque chassis, dubbed the MCLA or McLaren Carbon Lightweight Architecture. And because of that, the chassis is stiff and provides so much confidence around the corners. And it uses the dark art of aerodynamics when it's racing pedigree. The Artura felt like it was glued on the road every time we take a corner. But one would associate such stiffness to a harsh and bumpy ride. But no, it's quite the contrary. The Artura soaks up bumps and undulations like a sponge. Unbelievable. Because of this, and of course, my good driving, the highway segment was a breeze. I was able to catch up with a lot of the lost time. And because I take my job seriously, I make sure that I was making good use of all the 671 horsepowers produced from the all-new twin turbocharged V6 and electric motor. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> wow, wow, wow! Just on each toll gate. And for some unknown reasons, many car understood our sense of urgency and managed to let us pass on the fast lane. Come on, brother. Let the McLaren pass! Thank you, sir! Thank you, sir! Things were looking bright like the weather until... Guys, look at that. We're in KL, just when we thought that we can be on time. But look at that. KL traffic strikes back! Oh, so close, but yet so far. Time now is 1.40 and we are somewhere. Where's this place? Duta. My man, what's happening, man? A few inches later. Let's see. Whoa, 1.42. You will arrive 205, I think. Come on, come on. I don't want to let down my colleagues. And I'm the one holding the steering wheel, so they avoid them. <laughs> Five minutes. Oh man! What Sudoka did he do? Safety first. Bro! Brother Prios! Brother Prios! Thank you! Blesses with the green light, we'll make it on time. Pass cola! Let the ghost cola go home, go home! Are you doing? Go home! Go home! Go home, <laughs> go home bro! Okay. Left here, left here. Left here. Come on, Nissan, Nissan! Come on, Nissan! Take it, take it, take it, take it. Come on! Audi! No, then she goes, she goes, she goes. The time now is 1.59, 1.59! Come on, Honda City! Come on! IV Tech! Come on, use IV Tech! What are you doing? Get out! Move! Come on! Come on, brother, 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 brother Civic, let me go. Thank you, brother Civic! Thank you, thank you, brother Civic! Come on, where are you? This is left turn at McLaren. Yes, yes. You have reached your destination. Two o'clock.
block sharp. Right there. Two o'clock sharp. We've arrived. Woo! Guys, we arrive on time. 24 hours. Oh. <laughs> awesome, man. Oh, yo. Guys, so we made it on time. Right on the dot. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you for trusting me with this guy. And because of the size, you see the gap on the traffic. Oh, on the dot! Right on the dot. You know you must do it. The car is damn economical. I love this car. So that's it guys, special thanks to McLaren Kuala Lumpur for making this happen because this is a trip that I'll never forget. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please help me smash the like button and please subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future and if you haven't, please check out Bobby's and Tana's channel for the leg of the journey. I'll put the link in the description below for their videos. See you in another video in the future, till then, love you guys, keep it 100 always, peace out.